Hello and welcome to the Tumnet series. The topic for today is common cellism. We have discussed mutualism. Another type of interaction between the species is what is known as common cellism and this is somehow related to mutualism because this is an association between two species where one species is what is being benefited whereas the other species is neither benefited nor harmed. If you remember in mutualism both the species were benefited here only one species is what is being benefited. Examples are what come in UPSC and you have to distinguish whether it is mutualism or or common cellism. Some examples are what are classic in case of common cellism and here the example of the shark with sucker fish is what is a classic example. Here what happens is that the sucker fish largely stays with the shark and when the shark is feeding the, the food that the shark is get, wasting or the food pieces that are falling are what the, the sucker fish feed on. Also the sucker fish by being in the presence of the shark is given protection by the shark but for the shark the benefit is zero. The shark is neither being benefited by the presence of the sucker fish nor is it being harmed. Another example is that of epiphytes. Now what happens in epiphytes are that these are largely plants which climb upon trees for support. Now these plants that are climbing upon trees are definitely getting light, getting a better support, getting exposure to light but for the tree there is no particular harm vis-a-vis -vis the presence of these climbers. So these, this is another example of common cellism. What is important here is that you understand the concept and if a question does come you should be able to identify that what type of an interaction this is whether it is mutualism, it is symbiosis or it is common cellism. So that's about common cellism and that's about our discussion today. I thank you all for watching the video.